So my name is Duncan. Um, I retired not long ago from a career as an NHS doctor looking after people with arthritis mainly. Uh, but I started my journey uh, in Sussex where I had a brother and a sister, my mum and dad, and we all went to a local Methodist church. And I came to love a lot of, which the Meth of what the Methodists do in terms of their services. But it wasn't a church in which the Bible was taught very much. Um, and I'm my, neither my brother nor my sister are Christians. And if you look at the things which were very different in the way which the Lord led me to Christ was through my friends and my teachers at school who ran a Christian union. And one of them took me to summer camp in Anglesey when I was 12. And I was a very keen sportsman. I'm not very good at anything, but very enthusiastic about everything. And I was a bit grumpy when I lost. Uh, it had a bit of a temper on me. And when I went to camp, I discovered that there were lots of people who were much better at sport than I was, um, who tried just as hard, but laughed uh, when they lost because they were having fun. Uh, and it was my first indication that people who lived out the Christian life responded and lived differently. Uh, so that's where I became Christian, uh, in the fields of Bentleck, uh, Anglesey. Members lying in a tent one night, uh, having heard a talk and saying, yes, I wanted Jesus to be my Lord and Saviour. Um, but uh, I didn't get profound Bible teaching for a long time. I, I made some very unwise choices at university. Um, I played sport on Sundays rather than going to church very often. I didn't join the Christian Union. Um, I occasionally went to Bible studies and, and college, and um, but for the grace of God and His providence, I, I don't think my spiritual life could have survived. And, and the mechanism He used was me. I kept going to camp in the summers. Thinking about times which have been difficult uh, and therefore which um, the Lord has helped me, you do it within the context of knowing that you are loved um, and that there is. Um, that Jesus died for you. So whatever the struggle or the criticism or the failings, uh, there's that profound sense of belonging and assurance that you are valued and valuable to God um, because he called you and chose you and, and, and died for you. Um, so I think that it imbues values into everything you do. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to look around the world, isn't it, and see an awful lot of darkness and bleakness in Gaza and Israel and Ukraine and Yemen and Sudan, and the list just goes on and on. And it's almost as if, where's the, um, where's the goodness? Uh, and the Christmas story really is a, is a reminder that something that was apparently so insignificant and frail as a newborn baby brought uh, peace and salvation uh, for those who believe in him. And it's the, the, the turning point of history. Uh, and despite the blackness we see around us, we have an inextinguishable light in our Lord Jesus.